Greetings and welcome to an Ooblets tutorial. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in this video, we're going over top tips to get a quick start on farming in your game, talk about setups and profitable products so you never have to worry about gummies again. But firstly, I want to thank all of my wonderful and generous patrons, as well as everyone who supports me with donations and also by watching my videos, leaving comments, and tickling the YouTube algorithm with a like. You are fantastic and I really, really appreciate you. Now let's get going. When you first get to your farm, pull up as many weeds as you can because they often contain cloth plant seeds. You will need clothlets to fulfill quests in town as well as build structures for your farm. The seeds are very expensive in Reed Seed Shop. Plant as many as you can on the first day so they can start their four day growing process. An excellent early game product to sell is Quib Tarts. You can find them in the Almanac under Recipes, they're right here. They require one fructose and two quibs to make. Make sure you collect quibs right from the start. They are the blue fruits growing on trees. Shake the trees several times for them to drop their fruit on the ground. Collect them every time you see a full tree because they take several days to respawn. Plant sweetie beeties in preparation for making fruit toast. A few days after you arrive, a free crunchster, which is this machine right over here, will arrive uh, and it will come to you by mail. Make sure you check your mailbox. Now place it on your farm. Note that it's not placed with the C decorate furniture menu. Instead, it's placed just like you would place an item from your inventory. I tend to place mine between the house and town so that it's easily accessible and I can drop off and pick up products when I walk by. Now walk to and click on the Crunchster. Select the Sweetie Beaties, which will be processed into Fructose. Let's pick out five here and it does show the output right there. Now, since the machine can only be worked by an ooblet, assign one to work it. We're gonna pick this Fleeble. Now note that assigned ooblets will no longer follow you around town to be available for battle. If you want to take one out, unassign it from the machine or coop just by clicking on it. Now, once the fructose is finished crafting, go inside to your hot plate and combine it. I happen to have some on me, so we can go straight to this hot plate here. And we're gonna combine it with two uh, quibs. It takes a tiny bit of time to cook here. Now the result, we are going to get a quib tart. And this is worth 30 gummies when you sell it at Cuddle Cups Cafe. Now this is a 27 gummy profit over the cost of materials. To sell, make sure you just go up to the register and trade it, and here it is. This is a fantastic product for early game because the materials are so very easy to get. Now in comparison with a hop dog, this has very, very little profit. Note that for some items like ground spring beans, you have to have the recipe for them before they'll show up in the Crunchster. So let's add a fair amount here and have our Fleeble work on it. Now when you get to the point of being able to make sprinklers, I recommend bypassing the very first one. Uh, it isn't terribly useful. Uh, this is the basic sprinkler which kind of looks like a water gun. It only waters a 3 by one area on your farm, but it still costs one of the precious, precious rain plops. Now rain plops, as an example, I got... Um, one rainy day, they only fall on rainy days, and I got one rainy day in about 11 out of 11 days, and it yielded three rain plops. And um, those are scattered around the world to pick up. I have one, I believe, in my inventory, which is in the stuffs. They look like this, they're like little, um, and they kind of shine on the ground. They look like little raindrops. So instead, I highly, highly recommend that you build the level two medium sprinkler. Now you need to buy this recipe from the fountain um, and it's gonna cost you 10 nernies, two clothlets and one rain plop. Uh, but that one, instead of, you can see the water gun, it is watering a three by one area. In contrast, these guys 
water a three by three area. You can see the AOE right there. Now the second level or third level sprinklers, I guess, uh, water a five by five area. So obviously those are even better, an even better way to use your rain plops. And of course, as you're setting these things up, make sure that you leave spaces around um, one for the sprinkler in the center as you're kind of marking out where you want to have things. You can kind of mix and match them with oublet houses, uh, especially when you've upgraded them. They, uh, the, like you can see, this little oublet is actually watering the plants there. As you're setting up your farm in the early game, you should make paths around the area that you're going to farm. As you can see, she runs on these pathways, even though I'm not pressing shift. She doesn't use any energy to do so. She just runs. Now, when you have level two sprinklers, I recommend a block of four of these and then put paths in between. I kind of went a little wild here. Uh, this was my first game, but it's hard to get the crops out of there so you can uh, redo things as this one. Obviously, this is an ooblet that hasn't hatched, but I can't get it out unless I destroy it and I don't want to destroy the seed. That's for sure. Now, also be careful that when you are getting your level three sprinklers, those cover a much bigger area. One of these would actually cover this entire area. So I need to edit this and change it from the original uh, way I had this. Paths will also prevent rocks from spawning and weeds from creeping in. If you need to make more paths, go to Manitoui, where you can make them at the table saw in the west side of the store. They cost planklets to make. Now, when it comes to actually placing down the sprinklers, notice that I have them on the right side of the screen, basically the furthest away from the water spout. That way, when I need to fill up my water can and water these other plants, I don't have to run very far to get back to that water spout, and it takes a lot less time. Watch out for weeds in your crops. They appear as little red stalks or sometimes bigger ones and little blue bubbles floating around the plant. If you select it, it says weed and the plant will not grow if they are not properly weeded. Once you can afford to, upgrade your oobcoops to level one. The level one allows you to house two ooblets where they pick up sticks, stones, weeds, and they also water your crops, enabling you to reduce the need for a sprinkler. They also increase the growth bonus to nearby crops. Place the oob coop such that the plants that need care fall within its AOE. When you go into Mead Seeds, look around for the red sale sign. That means that a seed will be much cheaper than it normally is. For example, Zanukas normally cost 10 gummies, but today they're five. I usually try to buy as many as possible, but I'm kind of short at the moment. Um, so just make sure that you're getting what you need. I try to buy in bulk, especially things that I really need a lot of, like sweet beaties early game, or later you're going to want spring beans and pompadute for large lati. Keep an eye out for gleamy ooblets. If you raise a seed and get your own, they occasionally drop obsidian when living on your farm. Obsidian is one of the scarce resources that locks progress in the game. You can obtain it from harvesting when you see it on the ground and rarely by breaking rocks, finding it in a home, and occasionally as a reward for a quest. If you are very short, you can also buy it from the fountain with wishies. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on the game and that it helps you grow a happy and healthy ooblet farm. If you haven't purchased the game yet and have a hankering to dive in, I would be grateful if you used my Epic Store creator code. It is no cost to you and helps support me a bit. Thank you so much for joining me in this wild and whimsical game. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you on the Oobane land.